Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. We're going to do a walkthrough video today on a brand new 2022, first look at this 2022 J-Flight 195RB. Feast your eyes on this thing. Now you've probably seen a 195RB, but I bet you haven't seen a 2022 version. You'll notice some things right off the bat that look different. This is what Jayco's calling a polar white exterior. This one happens to be in fiberglass. You can also get this in aluminum. In either case, they'll be polar white with a different graphics package. So you can see right away, we've got some uh, two-tone colors here, different graphic pa package on the outside. Nice, clean look. So besides the obvious color, I'll point out some things that are different and I'll give you some orientation things as we go along. Staying consistent with years past, we have a Solera adjust to pitch awning here. Of course, it's a power awning, nice LED light strip up here. And I noticed right here, now we've embedded these speakers in the exterior wall. These are an upgraded set of speakers from what we used to have, and they used to live in the end of the awning arms. Now Jayco has placed them on the outer wall, presumably to get, presumably, presumably, I said that, to have better quality audio out here, okay? Now, you can pitch down either side of this awning simply by pulling down like so. I can do this side, I can do this side, so I can shed the rainfall one side or the other or add some more shade on one side or the other. That's the same in years past. But here's something that's different, a wider door. This is a 26 inch wide entry door. If you stepped up in a 2020 or 2021, even if you weren't that broad shouldered, you kind of had to go sideways. On this one, it's a 26 inch entry door. I can walk straight in here with stuff in my arms. Notice also we have a friction uh, on the door here that keeps wind from blowing it and slamming it against. You used to have to latch it over here with a little plasticky thing that would often break. Now it's friction, so you can open the door and leave it where you want it to be, and it'll stay there. Now, here's another change. We have a Quick Connect, LP Quick Connect right here. So if you wanna have a gas grill out here, pop this guy off, it's a Quick Connect. You can have a gas grill outside on the patio side, and this is plumbed to your uh, propane bottles up front. Pretty cool. Coming around on the back, here's another change I'm noticing. Now we are rear camera prepped. Used to be you could only get that on the SLX-8s or the regular J-Flights. Now the SLX-7s have rear camera prep. SLX-7s, what's that stand for? It's seven feet wide instead of an SLX-8, which is eight feet wide. And of course, if you watch my videos, what does SLX stand for? It stands for, I have no idea, but probably slightly less expensive. All the quality in a Jayco build product right here without the price tag. Coming around here, your utility side, uh, of course, water heater, your city water connection. Jayco uh, takes all the mystery out of everything and labels everything nicely. So your low point drain for sanitizing your freshwater tank and winterizing tasks and so on. You have your gray and your black valve uh, connections right there for your sewer. Now this is a change in 2022 from 2021. It's a detachable power cord. Used to be you just push this in vacuum cleaner style. Now you give it a twist and pull it open and uh, coil it up and toss it underneath. Um, I don't know what the practical reason for that is. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, perhaps the, the old version maybe got tangled up inside there, but Jayco's gone with a detachable um, power cord. Of course we have our satellite uh, connection right up here so if you're at a campground that's got cable connections pop this open screw in your coax cable and now you have cable on the inside. Easy for me to forget about the roof but up on top of the roof is is a new product it's actually an upgraded product a Dicor Diflex 3 generation 3 the significance of that is that it's got a 20-year warranty instead of previously it was a 10-year warranty. That's crazy. That's a 20-year warranty 
uh, you know, it's more resistant to tears, rips, and so on. So keep that thing clean and treated, and it'll give you many, many years of service. While, you're, while we're talking about warranty, let's talk about the Jayco warranty. It's the two plus three warranty. Two years covers all the components on this thing. The water heater, the air conditioner, the furnace, all the RV systems are warranted for two full camping seasons, three years on the structure. On every Jayco, you're going to get Goodyear tires, American-made Goodyear tires with a six-year warranty. And if you're shopping around for trailers, and you should, do this. Do the knuckle wrap. See what you hear up there. If you hear steel, that's a good thing, and you always will with a Jayco. Sometimes when you do that to other brands, you hear a thud or you hear nothing. There's no reinforcement under there. So if you do pick up a tire tread on the, on the interstate or something, it could do a lot of damage under there. It's a simple little thing that you wouldn't think to check. It's on every Jayco. Of course, we have our potable gravity fill right here uh, for our potable water supply. If you're taking off to points unknown and you will not have any wa fresh water, here's where you put fresh water in to have water available on your trip. If you're going to a campground or even a state park and they have fresh water there, don't fill this up. You're just dragging around weight unnecessarily. Okay. Now, Nice little single propane bottle up here. The cool thing about this is it's the same propane bottle that's on your gas grill at home. Pop this thing off, take it down to the quick sack or the big box store of your choice. Even on a Sunday morning, you can swap it out, come back, and you don't have to break camp and pull this trailer to where you're going. You can fill it up and bring it back or, or swap it out and bring it back. Battery tray right here. Um, here at Vought, we'll prep everything fully before you take delivery. That means we're going to fill this propane bottle for you. We're going to install a brand new battery. We're going to wash it and detail it inside and out so that it's uh, in perfect condition for you when you pick it up. Um, always love these magnet catches right here instead of the old plastic things that break. So pop that up there, this stays open, and we have nice storage under here, a lot of really good storage to put longer items, you know, fishing poles and bag chairs and what have you. Very nice, handy storage. Let's go inside and have a look at some of the neat features on the inside, because it's gonna look a little bit different on the inside than the 2021s did too. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. All right, now we're inside of this 195 RB. Right away, you can notice that we have the modern farmhouse option available in the 195, all the SLX7s. Used to be, they were all basically a, a gray color scheme. Now we've moved up to the modern farmhouse, which is a a decor that's by far the most popular on the larger units like the White Hawks and Eagles and even moving up into the luxury liners, the Pinnacles and the North Point. Really nice. Look at this guys. We have a two burner cooktop with a cover here just like the larger ones. So pop this out of the way and it becomes your backsplash. Here's the trade-off. We have a neat little two burner cooktop but now we have a much bigger refrigerator than we used to have on an SLX-7. This is a six cubic foot refrigerator with a nice size separate freezer compartment on top. This is both gas or electric. So when you're off grid camping, this guy's sipping on propane. When you're hooked up to shore power, it's running off electricity. If you have it set on auto, which it is right now, it's going to switch automatically. You don't have to think about it. Very, very nice upgrade. Probably my favorite upgrade about this whole thing. Modern farmhouse, but we're going to a two burner and what I think is a nicer quality. This is like a cast iron grate right here. You can pop it out for cleaning. Very heavy duty. Two burner cooktop, twice as big refrigerator. Now you'll notice the countertop's a nice, nice uh, design. This is a polycarbonate material, but it looks like a slab of marble. It's impervious to moisture. You have an undermount sink here. Here's something different as well. It's all black 
fixtures moving into 2022 and beyond. So black fixtures here, black fixtures on the cabinet doors, both above and down here below. Might as well open up and give you a peek. Have storage under there, never mind the sawdust, compliments of Middlebury, Indiana. And of course we have black fixtures up here, little cabinet up above. Good chance for me to brag on Jayco's cabinet build. All these styles are pocket screwed and glued together. The whole assembly is screwed to the frame of the coach. These are solid maple cabinet doors. These aren't particle board or OSB with tape on them to make them look like real wood. They're real wood. Very good quality. That's going to be consistent through the entire line of Jayco products. Notice the wallboard is a little bit different color too. It looks like it's got a texture. It, it doesn't really, but it, it's got a nice pleasing look and it's a lighter color. So if you pan back, and I'll maybe trade places with you, Brian, you can see how it really lightens this up in here. It's a fairly small camper. We're 3,200 pounds dry, about 20 feet long. Check my facts on that. So it's not a big trailer, and yet it feels airy in here. Here's a significant option about this 195 that you don't always find in other SLX-7s. We have what we call a north-south bed orientation. It's oriented this way, not this way, which we call east and west. When you put a bed east and west, it makes the whole unit shorter, which has its advantages. But somebody's crawling over somebody in the middle of the night for a bathroom run or whatever. If you have a north-south bed orientation, I can access the bed from this side and I can access the bed from this side. It also makes making the bed a lot easier because I can get up here and adjust the covers and everything where it's a little more tricky with an east bed, uh, east-west bed orientation. That's pretty cool and I like that about this floor plan. So you can see it's just got a nice open airy uh, feeling in here. We have a speaker right here, so you can, uh, you've got your Bluetooth capable uh, IRV Technologies Entertainment Center right here. Got a USB port there, um, an HDMI. You can pair your phone to this and push music through these speakers as well as the speakers out on the patio. Now we can of course lift this bed and access the storage under here. So you can see the light coming in from outside Lots of good storage uh, underneath the bed as well. Again, when you're shopping around, and again, I think you should, this is a Serta mattress. This is not a junk mattress. It's a pretty, pretty good mattress. Thought I would see the Serta brand here. You're just going to have to trust me because I'm a trustworthy kind of guy. Uh, so it's a Serta mattress. It's a pretty decent mattress. But here's what's important too. What's under it? Plywood. Hey, you been to Home Depot lately? They're not giving this stuff away. Jayco continues to put plywood bed decks uh, on all units. There's plywood under the floor here, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood under here. There's plywood on the roof structure. Speaking of, this unit and all Jayco units have the Magnum Truss roof system. That's significant because it has a 4,500 pound weight rating. You and me, Brian, and 10 of our buddies could get up here and walk around on this roof. Not that we would necessarily need to do that, but getting up there for maintenance items like washing and checking the seals a couple times a year, you can safely walk on a Jayco roof. What's also significant about that is it's strong. It makes for a stronger box. So we don't have a lot of snow loads here in Texas like some other states worry about with the weight on the top of the unit. But we do have live oak trees and wind, and if a branch were to come down, heaven forbid, you know, you might be calling your insurance company, but not 911. So that's important. Really good roof structure. And last, but wait, there's more. There's six inches of bad insulation up here. It's pretty hot in Texas right now, but this ceiling feels cool. If you could just, when you come, come out here and look at this unit, first thing you should do, even if the air conditioner's off, reach up and feel the ceiling. It's cool to the touch. I dare you to do that with another manufacturer. You'll go out there and it'll be hot to the touch because there's not much insulation up there like there is in a Jayco. Now we have a cute little dinette here. 
Jayco has uh, changed the fabric texture a little bit. This has a really soft feel to it. Uh, the upholstery feels soft. It's a nice neutral color. And as is the case in past, uh, you, can, you can convert this into a bed, dropping this table down to become your bed base. Now, take this seat cushion off, and you have some storage down here for stuff that you don't maybe need to access quite as often. You can access storage on either side of the dinette here. So extra blankets and things like that be nice to keep down there. Again, this is a Jayco J-Flight SLX7 195RB that we're going through. Let's go back and take a peek here. I walked right by this when I came in and I didn't point it out. This is huge, literally. Not often do you actually get a closet in a seven wide trailer that's only 20 feet long. It's rare that you do, but you do on this one. Cue up the hallelujah chorus. Check this out. You got hanging clothes storage, throw the shoes under there, your golf clubs, what have you. That's crazy. There's a lot of really good storage. Again, you just don't see this in a small unit like this very often. That's a big selling point for me. Then, coming in the bathroom, pretty utilitarian, but very useful. So we have a tub-shower combo right there. Beautiful big skylight, so it'll allow taller guys like me to get in there. And then, of course, a vent up above, foot flush commode. A lot of people want to know if they'll fit in the shower. I'm six feet tall, average size guy, with plenty of, of room to maneuver here. So I got another four or five inches up here. If you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you'd be all right. This thing pops off here. And again, notice we've gone up to this black, uh, I think more stylish uh, decor on all the fixtures and fittings in here. Nice little mirror there. Very functional. So we're outlining some changes 2022 from 2021. Uh, need to fix this. Bruce, our sales manager, will have a fit if I don't make this bed. Ex-military guy, you got to make the beds every day. All right, Bruce, this is on record that I'm doing this, okay? I don't want to get in trouble. So, my name's Mike here at Vaught RV in Fort Worth, Texas. I'd love for you to come out and take a look at this. Really neat. I'm happy with these upgrades. Let me know what you think. Maybe some of them aren't your favorite. I'd love to hear about it either way. I think most of them are pretty cool and it, it adds value to an already popular floor plan. We'll be getting more SLX7s in besides this. We've got two 195 RBs available right now here in the middle of July right here in Fort Worth, Texas. Again, Mike from Vaught RV. Thanks for joining me. Check back here often. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaught RV.